Hi everyone, welcome back to Coda and Orion's Adventures. If you're new here, welcome. I'm glad to have you. Um, please hit the like and subscribe button. Uh, that would be fabulous. Uh, today we are going to continue on with our um, theme of uh, playing with the shop my stash, um, Black Friday hauls. You know, the stuff, that, the new stuff that I got. We need to play with it. So, today we're going to do a look with the Feverish palette from the uh, Sea Color Cosmetics, which is a dupe for the Sultry palette, I think, by ABH. Um, Y'all can tell me down below. It's either the sultry or the soft glam. I believe it's the sultry one. Pretty sure. So I've already done my uh, base makeup. Um, I'm still playing with this. And um, I mean, it's getting a little better. But to me, it just kind of looks like I got a big old stripe. <laughs> I don't know. You guys let me know down below. Tell me what you think. So take the... I'll cover off there so um, I'm just gonna do a kind of a quick little look here um, and you get to see me with my natural wavy floof because <laughs> yeah this is what it does when, uh, but I did use that uh, IGK um look at this in before guys. Um that uh IGK dry shampoo in my hair and I I really like it. It's it's very nice. Um it didn't doesn't seem to leave any residue, which is nice. Uh especially with dark hair, you tend to get residue. So anyway, I am going to Go in. I already set my lid with my Fit Me powder. I'm really digging that powder. That is some really nice powder. It doesn't crease. It just, it, it's just a beautiful powder. It really is. I really, really like it. Um, so I'm thinking I'm going to do just a nice brown with a pop of the coral. Because um, I'm going to do kind of a coral lip uh today too so i'm gonna go in with this this brown shade brown toby i don't know we'll just go with it how about that um so so i did watch that uh what is it broken show on netflix today about fake cosmetics I mean I've heard about fake cosmetics and you know I, I don't buy cosmetics and stuff off of wish and even um, Aliexpress kind of I'm kind of leery of because I know you can buy like you can be off of um, Aliexpress uh, but I'm I'm kind of like, mm, I don't know, you know, because it's a little, makes me a little leery. Anything that ships from China makes me a little leery. That's bad, isn't it? It makes me feel so racist and cold-hearted and you shouldn't have to feel that way nowadays it just it makes me angry but anyway um if you haven't watched that you really should uh i know that people get upset about things like you know see color cosmetics and um and you can be and um alter ego is another one uh that do dupes and 
dupes are completely different than fakes. Fakes are using the exact names, exact shade names. They are trying to be that exact same cosmetic. They are not trying to beat around the bush. They are um, like the example that they used quite often in that broken series was the uh, Kylie lip sets and I, people putting super glue in them. Holy frightening. That's scary. Truly, truly, truly scary. Um, it does make me a little scary be, or a little scared. I just bought something a little while back and it still doesn't come uh, off of eBay. Um, I will check it, of course, very well before I use it because they did use eBay as an example. I may not even use it. I may just check it um, if I have any remote suspicion when I get it I will check it over very very well but um because I've I've had really good success with eBay and you can so don't be leery of eBay because like um I got this on eBay very good deal and gal shipped it right off easy peasy lemon squeezy um, I'm just going to do a really simple look with this. Uh, I'm going to go in with, um, let's go in with this gray color right here. And then in the V, uh, not outer V, but so, you know, not everybody Don't mind that noise. It is my neighbors being my neighbors. Uh, but, uh, you know, so not everything on, on eBay is bad, but yeah, that just kind of puts the fair God in you, <laughs> you know? I went in way too heavy handed with that. I am going to need a brush. Get some of that. And that was me. That's not. See colors usually very beautiful. I don't have issue. That is all me. I'm just like. Let's just dip in and yuck yuck yuck. So. Oh good lord. He, do, he will do that at like. Three in the morning. He has turned his stereo car stereo up so loud. I don't know. I hope you guys can't hear that. But he has turned his car stereo up so loud before that it's literally shaken things off of my wall. I'm gonna go into the black as well, just to kind of deepen that up. So I'm gonna just kind of mix this, mix these two together. Just kind of kind of back and forth between these two just do 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 I guess that's the joys of living in a small community oh no it's okay Coda don't bark and then I'm gonna go in a little bit further I think I wanna kind of Go up on the crease. See, my my brush has kind of a little point to it, so I'm gonna kind of take advantage of that. And just take that up on my crease, just ever so slightly. Just kind of blend that up. Kind of doing a smoky eye, I guess. So I'm gonna bring this down. Hello, my beautiful girl. She has been having a rough day today. 
because of the wind. She doesn't like it when it's windy out. But anyway, back to the back to the fakes. The fakes that just makes me mad because you know, then you're truly ripping off the the people who really put in the time and the effort into those products. You know, and their name. You're ripping off their name. And that is just that's not okay, you know, I mean, it's like the conspiracy palette or the blue blood palette, either one. You know, you're going out and you're ripping off their name and their product. And you're causing people to end up in the hospital. I mean, come on, that's just ugh, infuriating. Uh, but a dupe, think of a dupe as kind of like... Um, um, what's that old saying? Um, what is it? Mimicry or con, you know, copying somebody is, is the, the best form of, of flattery or something to that effect. You guys get what I mean. Oh, sorry. Um. Yeah, so they're they're copying them, and even sometimes they're not exact because you'll do swatches, and you can see that like on some of them, the duochrome, they just take the predominant color out of that duochrome, and and that's the color, and it's not an actual duochrome. Or um, instead of a shimmer, it's a satin or metallic. It's it's a glitter, you know, I mean, things like that. So. It, it's yes, they're copying, but it's it's still not, and they're not using the name. Oh, yeah. so annoying, so so annoying, so annoying, annoying. But yeah, so and they're. Their quality is, I mean, like sea color, phenomenal, beautiful quality product. Beautiful quality product. I haven't used any Alter Ego, ego yet. Um, I really want to try some of theirs, so I think, I know I said I probably wouldn't buy any more products, but they have a couple palettes of um, the Natasha Denona dupes that would complete my dupe collection up there uh, and uh, that would but I've heard that their formula is beautiful and everything I've seen of formula is gorgeous And the influencers that promote it, I trust. Wholeheartedly. Uh. So. handsome boy. Do you decide to come see what mama's up to? Mm. Yeah. Is that so? Aren't they being noisy over there? Mm. Yeah. So you bonk my table. Thank you. I'm gonna blend this out a little bit. So this is just, yeah, it's just a clean crease brush. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that harsh edge there a bit. Oh, Ryan, Mama loves you. Oh, Ryan, 
Hello, handsome. You get up on Columbus table around. I'm just gonna kind of blend this out. This turned out a lot smokier than I figured it would. You know? Because we'll just have a, a really smoky eye to go to Walmart. And I think I got this side darker than this side. Oh, I hear what's going on out there. Yeah, we just need to add just a little bit. No, you leave it. Leave it. No. 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 No, I said no. I said no. No. Really? Do you see what I have to contend with here? Orion, I said no. Ah, uh, Mama said no. You're not gonna go out there and bark. This is his protest to me. Now he's going to sit out there at the door and argue with me. Okay. So I'm going to take my flat packer brush and I'm going to go into that beautiful coral color, corally pink color. And I'm going to do that all into the, the middle of my lid. From, from the inside corner all the way to that smoke. Just to give that beautiful, beautiful pop of color. And really pack that on. I really need to clean my mirror. Oh yeah, that is so pretty. I said no, little man. Oh, and you see how it kind of just blends it out. So you're going to come in here and bonk my table. Thank you. I appreciate that. And I don't think, and I'm going to go back in with that brush that I used. Oh, hold on. I'll be okay. Sorry about that. Phone call right in the middle of everything. So I think I want to try something. I know we do it all the time with shimmers and everything, but I'm curious what what's going to happen if we do it with... I'm just going to do it a little bit with a solid color. I just want to see just a little. I don't want to like ruin my color either so I just I'm gonna go in and see so I just took a little bit just to see what happens of course it would probably help if I used a different brush but look at that it really bumped up the color payoff. I mean, I know that you can use a lot of, of eyeshadows wet, but how cool is that? How cool is that? Yeah, baby. I like that. Okay, so I'm just going to take that crease brush, blend a little, blend it all together, blend, 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 and a harsh line. 
I really like this. You know, I always do just super sparkly looks, but this is kind of a cool little smoky smoky look. Yeah, I really like that doing it wet. That really bumps up that color. Like a lot. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Okay, now we'll do it in the next eye. Just, you know, now that we figured it out, I'm going to get it a little wetter. I'm going to dry out a little bit. That's really cool. But I'm still not going to, like, do a twoosh all the way through my pan. Just because I don't want to hard pan it, so I'm just doing it right in the very, very corner of my pan. Oh my gosh, that just amps up that color like nobody's business. Yeah, baby. Tell me what that's on. I have my ringtone stuck in my head now. It's a great song too. So, okay. So, so whatever is everybody's plans for New Year's? Now that by the time this is up, it should be after Christmas or right-ish there. So yeah, what's everybody going to do for New Year's? I don't know what we'll do, considering my birthday is a couple days before, so generally kind of combine them don't know we did find out today that my husband is getting a ham from the company that he works for as a Christmas gift so that's kind of cool Crazy with the pink coral color. There we go. Um, last year was super super fun. We did the coolest thing. We um, got dressed up in uh, Victorian garb, like full on. I had the full dress. Uh, With the um, petticoat, corset, I mean, I full on everything. Uh, I had this beautiful red dress. It was about, about this color, actually. Um, it was beautiful. And then my husband got all dressed up, which is, if you already know my husband, never happens. <laughs> Um, I think he got more dressed up for New Year's last year than he did for a wedding. Uh, which is funny, but, uh, yeah. And then we went to this, um, themed masquerade party. 
downtown in our tiny little town. And it was so much fun with some friends of ours. And they got all dressed up too. And it was so, 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 so much fun. We had the best time ever. It was just a blast. Um, I'm going to go in with this color here as my inner corner just because I don't want like a whole okay, okay you have a highlight um but I want something to just kind of pop in there to lighten things up a little bit you know just a little something something you know and uh it was so much fun we had a great time Even though it was really crazy cold, uh, we still had a blast. It's been super, super fun. I'll, uh, maybe I'll post pictures of it. All right, it's all right. No. I said no. Don't look at me like that. <laughs> it gives me this look like, but that's my job, Mom. I need to post pictures of our Christmas tree. I finally got it decorated. Okay, so there's that. Got that done. I need to hurry up because you guys are probably done. Look at me. I'm gonna put brown on today and my waterline instead of white. I think white would just be too too much. Again, this is NYX. You guys should know by now. My favorite. It just goes on like butter. It's so smooth. I've never had anybody ask me, but I don't do my tight line. Um, and the reason being that I don't do my tight line. There's that spray is because I have exceedingly sensitive eyes. So it is pushing it just to do my waterline. So there's that. Okay, so do this slap this on fast. No, it's okay. I do not know how, oh, there he goes, I ever got by without primer. I mean, my eyelashes are not horrible, but this just makes them, oh, there it goes. This is primer. <laughs> um, it just makes them that much more, you know? Okay, so there's that. I'm still trying this better than sex, and then I just have to do this 50 million times. Maybe it's just the tube. I don't know. Could be, I guess. You guys tell me. I have a hard time, you know, after this experience, then going and paying what is it like 25 bucks or something like that for a big tube and experiencing the same thing mm. 
It's not horrible mascara. Okay, now I think I have them quieted down. I don't know. We'll see. I hope. Um, so I don't know if I want to use a lip liner, if I don't want to use a lip liner. Um, I think it's time for some anties because doo -doo -doo, there's a new one. Um, but I think I'm going to use, I think I'm just going to use this. Um, this is... Oh, you can't really get it anywhere. Yeah, I'll use this and then I'll just pop this on it. Um, this is Lip Stain. It's Stiff Upper Lip Lip Stain from Unique in the shade Shameless. And it's kind of a coral color. Um, I don't recommend buying from MLMs. Um, I bought it from a friend a long time ago. Um, I don't have a lip liner that really matches. Their lip stain is not that great. Um, I mean, it's not the worst I've ever used. But. If you got any patchiness on your lips, it gonna show it. And bad. <laughs> and don't worry, it won't be this bright. It looks crazy bright, but I never leave it this bright. Because being that it is a lip stain, I kind of let it sit for a minute, and then I blot it off. some of this lip gloss and it's from Revlon and it is oh lord power up Blot. I'm an avid blotter. Okay, so there we go. There's the look. Not a whole lot, but feverish palette. Here we go. Throwing stuff on the flow. So let me know what you guys think down below. Remember, go out and have an adventure, even if it's just a grocery store. Blessings to you all. Love you.